And I can tell you that there are two players in the West Ham side not daring to look. One of them is Tommy Taylor, one is John McDowell. It's now Hurst, he will not look. And now it's Hurst against Banks. And Banks has saved it miraculously. And the crowd are stunned and Stoke are delighted. This is Gavin. McGovern. Davis. And a goal by Roger Davis. Right against the run of the play. But on the break, it's Gamow for Derby. Taking on Clark. Oh, coming to Hinton. 2 0. And the inevitable. Billy Bremner with the corner for Leeds United. Right on half time now. Bonetti beaten in the air. Jordan turning it in. Joe Jordan. an incredible goal. Webb coming up for this one, making his run as Hausman takes the corner. Oscar on the far side! Peter Osgood! And Hunter and Oscar are having words. The feud is going on. Will this be the long raking kick? It's not, but there's Jordan on the far side. And Jones! Oh, and a beautiful goal! Green off. West. Nice dummy and shot left. Good bit of pace there by him. And the cross for Walker. Hit first time. And Bernstein has scored. Maybe a chance for a quick Chelsea break now. Bumps it on his way. And that's a good ball in for Langley. And Langley is going to make it two. The ball fell for him. And in the end, it was just a simple tap over the line with Leatheran still way outside his penalty area, as you can see there. And here's Fillery on the break. Langley up ahead of him. Fillery's gone on and still onside. Across the goal there, and Johnson has made it three. Forward come Liverpool once more. Soonis. Ah, oh, there are four men in the middle. If Johnson can find one with a cross. Case with the header. Oh, what a beauty was to be Case. Back in again by Hansen. Cannon heading it straight up in the air. Dalglish challenging. Gilbert there, Dalglish trying to smuggle his way through, and then chip it away from Barrett. What an astonishing goal by Kenny Dalglish. A mixture of cheek and genius. Ray Kennedy. Nobody guarding him over there, and they're all now streaming into the middle. Johnson and McDermott. And McDermott gets it. Came out of nothing. Intelligent pass. It's aimed towards shoulder. Shoulder with a chance to log. Oh, that's superbly done by Alan Shoulder. For, for Goddard. Now for Gordon Hill. And that's a goal scored by Glenn Roder. And he looks absolutely delighted about it. Pulled up play now for the free kick, and uh, I would think. He's going to try and do something about that dog. Who brings a dog to a football match? I really don't know. Well, whoever's dog it is obviously keeps him reasonably fit. Oh, it's a fine effort from Peter With. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, Peter With's tackle obviously took the steam out of him. And the dog gets the red card. Play resumes now with Hibbert. With, and that's a goal from Peter With. Oh, what a beautiful goal. Terry Hibbert's free kick, he's delighted. And so too is Peter With.
Well, he can catch dogs and he can score goals. With, this is Rafferty. But that's straight to Shanks and Rafferty's had another go at it. And Connolly's in there. Connolly against Wicks. Cassidy. Oh, that's the superb goal from Tommy Cassidy. Oh, what a cracker. Connolly. This is Peter With. There's a chance here if he can get his shot in. And that's number four. And Peter With puts the lid on it for Newcastle. Gary, a dummy. Oh, well done. Here's Nickel again. And there's the goal from Gordon McQueen. Here post. And an own goal of the strangest nature. Bossy shakes his head. He drove the ball back, trying to clear it. And it went in off the goalkeeper. Sanson with the throw. The amount of litter on the pitch again, reflecting the windy conditions. Merce hesitated, Koppel makes it two, as Luxembourg stood and waited. Martin, 3-0, Tony Woodcock. For Robson, and for Woodcock, and bless it surely this time, for well, he's miskicked it in. Woodcock. Abbott. And Woodcock is onside this time. The angle widening by the second as the ball ran away from him, but Blissett puts it in. Sansom. Finally played in by Butcher. It's a goal that Mark Chamberlain takes the credit for. They all jump together. Robson. Woodcock sensing possibilities again. Blissett's in the middle. It's the hat trick. Hoddle, eight now. One from the Glen Hoddle repertoire. Now Neil. And Phil Neil is on the score sheet because you'll have a job to take that one away from him. Please. Dalglish is Archibald ahead of him, that's a good pass for Archibald, back to Dalglish, and Scotland take the lead, it's a marvellous opening, 12 and a half minutes of the first half gone, and a vintage goal from Kenny Dalglish, he's 27 for the Scotland jersey. Playing it short, Devander's missing, Cook for Carlton, this is where his pace can be so dangerous for Scotland, Van der Elst is there, there's Van der Elst. Scotland. Dalgleish. Oh, that's a great turn by Dalgleish. Chance to win for Scotland. Dalgleish is fine. Oh. And that is a goal to remember. Marvellous play by Kenny Dalgleish. And if anyone cares to question his ability to Scotland jersey, let him look at that goal again. Yeah, and took up good position. So did Kuhlman. Great play from Belgium. Van der Elst. There's Kuhlemans again and lots of space for Belgium. This might be the man to tear Scotland apart. Van der missing to Van der Elst. And Van der Elst celebrates in typical fashion as Belgium take the lead for the first time in the match. Qualificazione al campionato d'Europa per nazioni è finita in parità 4 a 4 dopo un'alternanza di rete avvincente per i 20.000 spettatori che hanno assistito all'incontro. È andato in vantaggio il Galles che abbiamo visto al sesto con Flynn, poi al quattordicesimo pareggio della Jugoslavia con il difensore Svektovic. È il 3 a 1, ma due minuti dopo al 39 il Galles accorciava di nuovo le distanze andando in rete con il mezzo sinistro Rush che approfittava di un clamoroso difensore della difesa jugoslava ecco la rete nella ripresa al terzo l'undici slavo segnava ancora la quarta rete con Jesic 
Era il 4 a 2, sembrava risultato acquisito, ma nel finale i gallesi riagguantavano il pareggio. Al 25esimo il, terzo, il terzino Jones concludeva in rete una mischia davanti alla porta degli slavi. Poi al 35esimo James, per il Galles, trasformava una punizione fissando in maniera definitiva il risultato sul 4 pari.